Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're in self-isolation and the time has come to do my beer battered spam. I'm a bit frightened. I did say I'd do this, so uh, I figure I'm gonna give it a shot. Quite simply, it's uh, I'm gonna cut some slices of the spam. I'm gonna put it in a batter that's made with a half rice flour, half self-rising flour. I'm gonna deep fry it. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of um, sriracha cut with some vinegar and sauce it. And that's because the spam has sugar in it and that's a bit sweet. And the sriracha is sweet, so I'm gonna cut that down. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of my uh, famous uh, chicken rub. No sugar in that, so that's the coriander and some lovely spices in there. Uh, and I'm going to serve it on a bit of lettuce with the um, with the uh, sriracha vinegar cut. Now, if you want to make this better, I would use a really good beer in the batter, something like this. So pretty much any of these beers would be great. They've got flavour, they've got hop character, high in alcohol, most of them or some of them. However, in the um, spirit of things, I'm going to use this. It's a terrible beer. <laughs> I would never buy it or drink it, but I have for this. So, but don't please don't tell anyone I've done that. So, I guess I better get cooking. <laughs> right. Oh my God! I can't believe I'm doing this. Turn that around. Mmm. Spam. Mmm, <laughs> smells like cat food. First thing you gotta do is get the spam out of the can. It's coming. Finally got it. It's a difficult little bugger. Now we're gonna cut it. Mmm, cuts like butter. And I'm just going to do little finger pieces like that. Dip that in the beer batter, fry it off. They're a bit thick. Mmm. I'd taste some now, but I really can't bring myself to do that. A quick word from our sponsor, Formicurio's Beerlicious Rubs. They're delicious on anything, even Spam. Mmm, looking delicious already. I just can't wait. One trick for this is Make your batter really thick and then put lots of batter on your spam so that it's kind of like a corn dog, you know, really well coated. Mm. You know that thing when, when you're cooking and you just get all excited about the smell and the aroma and you think, oh my God, that's going to be delicious. I'm not having that here. All right, they're cooked, they're crispy. Anything fried smells good, but doesn't smell bad. One thing I learned after all the TV uh, cooking shows I've done from the chefs is this. If you plate up on a really nice plate, the food looks better and it's gonna taste better. I said I'd do it. I hope this doesn't cause panic buying and Woolies and Coles and IGA and things on spam. Um, as I said, on this plate, it looks delicious. Bon appetit. Um, <coughs> thank God for the sriracha and the vinegar. It uh, kind of hides that taste of Spam, so. Um, oh. mm. It's a textural thing, it's kind of 
soften. It's all right. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Give it a try at home. It's not really that bad.